Yes, hello Kenyans. Welcome again to this channel. I want to thank you so much because of your continuity to support the work of this channel. Today I want us to analyze this politics of Nairobi County, where today we understand and we know uh, exactly whoever is going to carry the flag of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance when it comes to gubernatorial race of Nairobi County. And also on the other side, in Azimiola Umwaja, we are having, they have settled on Igade, Polikat Igade, and uh, Kaloki as the deputy of Polikat Igade. Kenyans, you see that the politics of Nairobi County is not a such politics that you can joke with. It is not a politics that only one politician comes on board then he plans, then everything comes to successful. When you see both sides have arrived on their candidacy or candidature, it means there are a lot of consultation, a lot of negotiation, and at times consensus has been put on place. For example, as you see in Azimula Moja, we were having Tim Wanyoni, the MP of Westland constituency. We were having businessman Richard Ngatia. We were having Anne Kananu and other woman. I do, uh, I'm, I'm forgetting her name. So Azimio Moja was having many candidates. When it comes to Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, we were having Margaret Wanjiru, who was uh, who has already settled in uh, senatorial uh, candidacy, and we are having uh, Sakaja. But again, when it comes to both sides, they have already settled on their, uh, on their preferred candidates. When it comes to Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, they prefer Sakaja carrying the flag of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. When it comes to other side of Azimula Moja, they have preferred giving Polika Igadi and of course his deputy Kaloki. I want us to try to analyze these numbers and try to see whoever is likely to carry the day when it comes to the gubernatorial race of Nairobi County. Number one, let us start with the Sakaja. Sakaja has been uh, declared as the candidate uh, for Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. So far, we have not uh, come up, we have not seen uh, his kind, uh, deputy. I don't know if someone knows the deputy, please you can drop at the comment section below. But on the other side, Polikat Gade and Kaloki, Polikat Gade is going to be the governor, Kaloki is going to be the, the deputy. Let us arrive to the, uh, to the numbers. You know, in Nairobi politics, we always uh, see the numbers we always don't see the personality. If you see the personality, it means that even Tim Wanyonyi and other candidates could have won this election when it comes to the gubernatorial race in uh, Nairobi County. But so far as we uh, concerned, uh, you see Sakaja is a lawyer. Believe me 100% sure, lawyers are going to give, a big percentage of lawyers are going to give Sakaja because they believe on their own that yes on the kenya kwanzaa alliance they have given the our person and of course lawyers are starting to uh, to analyze the politics of nairobi like that they are saying that they are going to vote for sakaja because sakaja is a lawyer number two i don't know the deputy uh, is coming from which side which according to me the numbers of lawyers yes voters when it comes to voters there are not so many such that they can defeat kikuyus luos and uh, kambas in nairobi county let us speak about pure numbers in nairobi county so for now when it comes to team kenya kwanza and sakaja of course he has that wave but assurance is there that he's going to carry the votes of lawyers about 80 percent let us go back to, to Azimio Lomoja. Azimio Lomoja, we are having Polika Pigade and uh, Kaloki. 
Polycat Igade is a Kikuyu. Of course, Kikuyus are having a big percentage of number of voters in the Nairobi County. Then his deputy is uh, Kamba Kaloki. Of course, they are going to convince their people that our deputy, the deputy of governor is going to be Mkam, Akamba. So let us give him votes. So it means that when it comes to Timazimio, they are already having uh, Kikuyus, they are having Kambas. And of course, when you see the numbers of Kikuyus and Kambas, is a big percentage of votes there. You have not included the, the, the votes of Luos. You have not included the votes of uh, uh, some lawyers who are going to be uh, conveyed to the other side. So when it comes to uh, Polycat, Igade and uh, Kaloki, they are ha having some bigger percentage of numbers when it comes to the voters in Nairobi County, when it comes to Kikuyus, Kambas, Luos and some lawyers and of course other tribes that are in Nairobi County. But because you see that the numbers of voters that are always popular is Kikuyus, you come Luos, Kambas, then Luyas. So when Luyas decide that they're going to give a uh, Sakaja, that is good, they're going to give him block. Then when it comes to the other side, when political gather is going to be given with Kikuyus, Kambas and Luos, I think the side of Azimio is likely a game that they have played it very well to ensure that when it comes to encountering Sakaja in Nairobi County, it's going to be easier. Why is it that it's going to be easier? Kikuyus are going to give to their papa, uh, to their own. Kikuyus are going to vote for Igade. Believe me, I'm percent sure. Kambas are going to be, vote for Igade because of Kaloki as his deputy. Believe me, 100 percent sure. When it comes to Luos, Luos are going to be convinced. Though some will not agree, some are going to vote for Sakaja, but the truth to be said, big percentage of voters from Luos are going to be given to Igade. And you see that Igade's politics, the other time he was uh, the deputy of, uh, of course, uh, Mike Mbufisonko, but uh, he resigned because of some issues that he was not trusting the leadership of Mike Bobi Sonko. So I believe and I trust that Igade Gashagwa, um, Igade uh, Polycarp, is going to carry the day because of the votes of Kikuyus, votes of Kambas, and votes of Luos. These are votes that are mainly contact. When it comes to Sakaja, he's having uh, Kikuy, uh, Luos as, as if 80% there. Then you have some Luos, some Kikuyus, and some uh, other tribes, which according to me, I don't see if Sakaja will carry the day easily. Though it is a stiff, it is, it is a, a stiff competition between Sakaja and Igade, which the game that Azimio Laomoja has put on place when it comes to the politics of Nairobi County, they have calculated it very well. So according to me, I'm seeing like Igade carrying the day after 9th August election because of the votes and the numbers and the tyranny of numbers that is in Nairobi. Because Nairobi politics is not is the way you can see. Someone can bring up Sakajo, someone can bring Igade. But the truth to be said, politics of Nairobi is about politics of numbers. So otherwise, I want to thank you so much because of your great support. I request you with a humble heart. Drop your intake and your opinion at the comment section below. Are you seeing Igade defeating Sakaja? Drop at the comment section below and your reason. Otherwise, thank you so much because of listening to me. Thank you because of your love and support. If you are a visitor, of course, in this channel, we subscribe. We put on the notification bell that when we upload our videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, thank you so much. God bless you. Continue supporting, liking, sharing, and commenting this video. Uh, of course, in this channel, we analyze our politics. We give our opinions and reasons the way we understand politics across the Republic of Kenya. So thank you so much. God bless you. Till next time. Bye-bye.